Good day, Pajaffers! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are gonna explore the new chess program called the Chess Queen. But before we start, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video to help our channel grow. So, this Chess Queen is, uh, I think it's a new program. The ultimate chess software for pro players. So, uh, how do you access this? First of all, you need to go to chessquid.com and then you need to purchase it. So, uh, before we we see the price here, let's just read some details here. Chessquid is a revolutionary chess software designed for chess players, from club players to the best grandmasters, to help you prepare against opponents. Four plus million games. Chessquid database comes with more than 4 million games, many from top GMs. Use the Trap Finder, a unique technology that helps you find opening traps during your preparation. Cross-platform, full compatibility with PC, Mac, and Linux. Buy once only, no multi or year subscriptions, get powerful tool once and enjoy. Order now. So how much does this... Uh, Chess program cost. Chesspeed Pro, 99 euro. So in Philippine peso, that's around, uh, I think that's around 5,600. And uh, Chesspeed Light, perfect start for be beginners, 29 euro. So no monthly or year subscriptions. You pay once and own it forever. Money back. We believe in our product. If any reason, if for any reason you are not satisfied, we will give you a 100% money back within 30 days of purchase so let's compare the difference between the chess quid light and the chess quid pro okay chess quid game database you have access to it in chess quid pro also player database uh, in both versions you could import pgns and edit your games it means that you can you can annotate your games so in chess quid pro you have this trap finder which we are gonna take a look later and in chess with light you don't have this in engine when you use engine to review your games in pro version you have unlimited depth while in chess with light only depth 16. so if you're just a beginner and you want to become a national master or a fide master i think chess with light is uh is good but if you're an im or you want to become a gm i think you need the chess with pro if you ever uh if you want to buy this product so virtual players it doesn't matter if you are choosing the light version you you also have this uh virtual players so godlight squids the elo rating is 2400 to 3200 while the beginner squids 800 to 1200 so this this is what they call the the computer you could you could play against the computer in this uh program so learn and practice. You, there's also lessons here. Uh, lessons. You you have access to all lessons if you buy the pro version. Opening repertoire. You don't have access to it if you buy the light version. So also the widgets here. So if you click this, of course you could uh, order now. So let's just take a look at common questions before we explore the chess program itself. Will there be a trial period? Uh, there's no trial period however we offer a 30-day money back guarantee you can contact support to request a refund which payment methods do you accept credit cards paypal they all offer educational discount a student may request a 30 percent off educational discount so if you're a student i think you could uh, avail some discount here if you want to upgrade yes you can you need to purchase the upgrade in our shop can i receive a refund Yes, we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So, uh, anyway, let's take a look now at the chess program itself so that uh, we could uh, see the features and explore them. So, let me just... Uh, okay, so let me just... Okay, so this is the chess program. Once you open the program, this is the one that uh, will will show so uh you could in input some games here for example let's play some moves here let's play the move uh, e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 so uh normal chess program like this 
So this is a normal feature, of course. And uh, let's try to save this game. So if you want to save this game, let let me just fix the this real quick so that uh, my camera is not it's not in the way of some. Uh, okay, I think it's okay now. So if you want to save this, you need to click file and click save here. And this is the, I think this is the game details, of course. Let's try to put my name here and the name of I am Gem. So let's put some rating here. Uh, let's put Garcia here. I'm not sure about his rating. Let's just put 2420 here. Of course, I, I, I won this game, for example. And then let's put some details here. Round 1, year, 2022, 04, April uh, 18. So let's put it here and then apply. Ah, okay. So you need to, you need to put the, the month, the, the month number, not the word itself. So, uh, Pajaps Tournament, Power Samina, as you can see, there, there is, uh, there, there is, there are details here. So, if you click a new board, this will come out. This will come out, come out here, edit game fields. But now, once I saved it, it's already here, the details. So, a typical uh, feature of a chess program. But let's see the other features here. So, if you want to to in, input a variation, you need to check this variation move. So after knight c6, let's say I played something like uh, d4 here instead of bishop c4. Okay, so it's here. As you can see here, there is the variations. Are you seeing this? I hope you're seeing these variations. So d4, there, there's also a moves tree here. So what does this moves tree mean? It means that... Uh, this is the tree of variations. So, for example, I played something here. E takes d4. I also tried to play some other move, d5. As you can see, the variations here are easily accessible. So, after knight c6, bishop c4, something like that. Let's say instead of knight c6, knight f6 has been played. Oops. Knight f6 has been played. There's a new variation here. And then after knight c3... As you can see, the the branch of variation is going down, so that uh, there's some space here because it cannot fit in here. So that's one of the features of this uh, moves tree. So now let's take a look at some other function here. So if you want to promote a variation, let's say we want to promote this d4 to the top, you just click this. It says promote the variation to the main variation now it's promoted and then if you want to demote it i think you need to click this but uh, currently i'm not sure how this works so let's ignore this for now if you want to insert some comments you should click this add comment before the move add the comment after the move let's say we want to uh say we want to say that this is the this is a blunder blunder so we just we just uh, type it of course and then we click uh, enter and now if we play this game again and then here there's a comments and you will you will see that uh, the one that I've typed earlier blunder it will show here so some other features here in the notation pane window the the cl clock time information also the symbols so of course this is the this also equivalent to blunder dubious move excellent move and also the evaluation so decisive advantage for white unclear or something like decisive advantage for black something like that so this is this is the uh, notation pane window here in in the chess speed pro now let's take a look at some other features let's try to load some engine here for example we will click the start engine button so currently i am using stockfish 14.1 
but if you click this you will find that you could load some other engines here the default engine of this uh, program is arasan 23.1 i'm not sure if i uh, read that right so this is the default uh, default engine but of course i use stockfish the free version and i think it's one of the strongest engine that's why i use this stockfish 14.1 in the pro version you could use uh, you could import and use other engines but i think in the light version this is the only engine available so now uh other features here are this the depth as you can see are you seeing this yeah i think you're seeing this as you can see the depth here uh i've said i've set it to 33 so if you click this arrow it will show see are you seeing this uh let me just fix it a little bit. Let me move my camera over here. Oops. Uh, here for... If you click this arrow, you will see that there's this depth, 33. So let's try uh, making this 25. So, of course, the if the number is bigger, it will be more deeper. The analysis will be more deep, deeper. That's why I, I've set it to 33. But if you try making it 25 it's just uh, 42, 0.42 seconds so uh, less than one second so it's very fast it's very fast actually but if you try to set it to 33 as you can see uh, there's a time here which is very cool so that uh, you could see how fast your engine analyzes and it's not an infinite analysis once it reached the 33 depth it will stop analyzing and it took around 14 seconds of course it's the same position i think if you keep on doing this it will eventually lead to uh lesser time lesser time spent so now let's try to play some moves here for example this so once you play the move it will analyze again of course because it needs time to reach the depth 33 which which is the depth the one that i uh, that I've set. So after 9C3, it's still analyzing. The evaluation is this. So let me just uh, fix my camera again. Over here. The, the depth is here. So it's very close to 33. So it's 32 over 33. It means that it's currently in depth 32. Uh, reaching 33 and it stopped analyzing. As you can see, the evaluation is plus 0.1 the nodes i'm not sure i think this is the moves per second i'm not sure about this but this is the the time that it uh, that that it spent analyzing 33.49 seconds and that's the depth 33 of course you could set it for more more here uh here if you want to set it 35 or just 25 if you want it to make it faster so if you click this it will stop analyzing and it will disable the bar here and of course there, there are other features here let's take a look at some other features if you want to create to increase the number of moves that uh, the engine is analyzing you just click here and place maybe two uh, now there's two moves that uh, the engine is analyzing it will take a lot uh, more to reach 33 of course because there are two moves that uh, the engine is uh, focusing on so now let's take a look at some other features here so uh, of course if you want to analyze some some other games you just click this so we will ignore this we will not stop the analysis here but if you want to analyze some other games you could you, you could just click the new board and it's still analyzing here so this is one of the good things about this program is is you could analyze a game while uh, letting your engine analyze some other game you could input some other games here and you could also uh, do some other features here for example this if you click this three three bar button here it will show you the description of this so there is database there is train and there's also play so let's take a look at the database uh, feature so the database this one will show you uh, some databases here this is the database that have been included in the in the package once you purchase this 
this uh, program, Chess Quid Elite 2021. It it contains 1.8 million games, and the Chess Quid Regular 2021 it contains 2.3 million games. And you could also uh, you could also load your own database here. I think it doesn't matter if you are using the pro version or the light version. You could load your own database. For example, I've load this um, own database of mine my games on dhs.org so if you click this it will show you the games here let's click some sample game here for example this one i want this game uh 2021 of course you need to double click it and then it will load the game here so it load the game here the board is a little bit smaller but i think you could uh you could fix that by by uh, making this smaller so that the board becomes bigger so once i've done this oops once I've done this, uh, this we could now load the game here. Ultra Bullet Arena, of course, this is Ultra Bullet, only 15 seconds, I think. So there's a lot of blunder. And there's this uh, other feature here, statistics. So I think this is the, uh, I think this is about the openings. It's like the openings book or the opening explorer in some other chess sites or some other chess programs. So the number of uh, the number of times this was played is this eight hundred twenty one thousand. Because I think the source of this is is their own database. The this one, the Chesquid database. I think this is the source. So this is the the number of games that this move has been played. The move e four. The of course this is the percentage in all of the games. 43% of the time E4 has been played and as you can see there is this uh, 35 slash 37 slash 28 I think it means that uh, the win percentage for white is 35% the draw is 37% and finally the win for black is 28% so you could compare it of course but of course it's very irrelevant in the first move it will become uh, it will matter when you when the position is a little bit further not in the not in this starting position of course so this is the opening uh opening it's like an opening explorer and also the database so you could loan your you could load your own database you could also um, create a database here so now let's take a look at the position that we left here earlier it says here that it reached uh, 1.98 minutes so i think it's around uh, two minutes to reach the depth 33 when we input two moves here so the final evaluation is 0 0.00 for the move bishop b4 and knight takes e4 is uh, one of the other moves here that is 0 0.33 so so this is a very very nice feature because you could load some games and then let the engine run here and, and then you could easily close this by click, clicking that so it's like the it's like a browser uh, for example Google Google Chrome you could just load some tabs here and then just close it uh, it doesn't matter how many tabs I think but of course not too much it, it might crash if there's too much uh, tabs here just like in the browser so now let's take a look at some other features so let's play this move Knight x e4 Currently, it's analyzing, so uh, let us make this engine analyze while we explore some other features. So let's take a look at this tactics fe feature. So here, if you click the tactics, will it will show you this. So uh, let me see if you're seeing the all the buttons. Okay, so so far so good. So this is the tactics. Currently, my rating is twenty four thirty seven and uh the rating of this puzzle is 2477 if success plus five if fail minus five find the best move for black so uh this is one of the good features really really good features of this program there is this tactics trainer and there's rating that's why uh it's very nice to train and very attractive to solve some puzzles because of course there's this motivation the rating of course because uh if there's no rating sometimes it could be uh it could feel 
sometimes I feel lazy if if you if there's no rating you just solve it on your own but this you will be motivated to train so now let's find the best move for black I think bishop e5 is a good move here but rook h8 can also be a good move so I'm not really sure about that but let's try let's just try to play this so so oh you lose one at a try so once you you made a wrong move of course this will show and the rating has decreased of course so if you retry if you if you want to retry it will show you here that uh if you win zero if you fail zero so once you got the position once you got the uh solution wrong uh the rating will not decrease again so you could keep on solving and try to explore some other moves so so this one is correct because the the program played the move so once i take this queen maybe queen f4 congratulations you win but my rating did not increase because i already got the the problem wrong once so this is how this works uh very nice feature of this chess speed program so now let's close this and let's go back to the analysis so it just took 1.31 minutes so i'm not sure if this is I think this is uh, percentage based or decimal based, not 31 seconds. Because earlier we have seen that it's 1.98 minutes because there is no 98 seconds. So this is around, I think, 31% of 60 seconds. So I think that's around uh, 18 seconds if I'm not uh, mistaken. So it's around 1 minute and 18 seconds. And the final evaluation is plus 0 0.3. For the move knight takes e4, knight takes c6, also 0 0.14. So as you can see, this is how you analyze here. Uh, it's very, I think it's very good because you could do some other things here. So now let's try to move here. Let the engine run again. And then we will go to the mid game section. So the mid game section, this is this these are lessons that you could choose. Uh, middle game lessons exchange of pieces minor pieces attack i think the good thing about this although they are very uh there there are very few lessons i think i've read in the in the website that they will increase this so this is one of the few uh, this is one of the uh, great things about this uh, program they will continue to increase and update the lessons here so that uh of course so that the program will be really really good and uh you don't need to buy anything anymore once you bought the program they will just uh continuously update it so that uh you will have access to the future lessons here not just these current lessons so now let's try to load some lessons here for example here exchange of pieces transi transition to a winning end game so let's click this uh here it will show you this so let's click start so uh rook d3 is the move here so actually earlier i think you could try to solve it from here you could try to solve it from here and then once you click start it will show you this it will show you this and uh it will show you if you're if your answer is correct for example you played something like f4 here that's that's just wrong of course so rook d3 rook g8 knight b4 king c5 okay so king f2 it's just winning the king will just go here so uh yeah so one of the things that uh that needs to be improved here i think is that some of the lessons here are already on the end game although this is a good example to it's already in end game and but you need to make it simpler but uh it should not be here i think it should be here on the end game section but some lessons are i think most lessons are middle game for example this one and there's text here in this very tactical position we'll see the next strategic conception exchange exchanging the piece that defends so here in this position although it's a little bit uh, small uh, let's try to guess a move maybe bishop takes g4 so let's try to play this so 
I'm not sure if this is really working, but uh, let's just find if the let's just see if the solution is correct. Rook e8, what a move! What a move! So Rook e8 exchange this defender piece, and then uh, so there's the game here, and finally it's it will be winning for for black. So. So zero one, uh, and I'm not sure if if the white player resigned here, but I think it's already losing because this pawn on f3 is about to be captured, and there's too much pawns for the uh, exchange. And finally, I think one of the uh, things that needs to be improved here is that I think it would be better if if the user could guess the move here, could guess the move, and also if. Uh, there is more text here because this one there, there is some text but not all the moves has explanations if they could uh, try to make this something like uh, there's explanation here and then there's explanation here for this knight f5 move I think it would it would be really good there is explanation there's another explanation here also some notation uh, flaws here as you can see the rook e8 the rook e8 move has been played by black but it, it's on the first move here it should be i think it should not be like that it should be one dot 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 and then rook e8 and then the second move should be the rook takes e8 of white because that's how uh the notation works like this one as you can see here the variation section bishop c6 dot 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 and then the second move is knight f is rook f1 i think it should work the same here in the in the main notation window here anyway overall the the idea is really good the lessons because uh i think in some programs there is no lessons like this included but here uh, i think it's a really good uh feature also the end game so let's click the end game uh lesson so here there are basics of course two rooks mate two bishops mate and here uh, a much more complex end game if you, if you click on this uh, if you click on this rook and pawns again bishop against bishop and pawn so where is that so why is it not showing so it's schematic idea uh, okay so this one is much more complex because uh, it's very hard so this one is, is a lot lot harder than the uh, initial examples here for example these two rooks made of course this is it's very easy the staircase mate you just uh, play this and it's gonna be checkmate so uh, but but the as you progress it will become harder so this is this is very good for for uh, players who want to uh, improve their end game I think this this they focused on end game uh, much more than on the middle game that's why the end game has a lot of lessons but i think uh, in the future there there could be some uh, more more examples here in the middle game so now let's take a look at the analysis that we ran earlier so depth 33 has been reached in two minutes 2.17 minutes in this current position the final evaluation for queen e7 is plus 0 0.4 as you can see here in the bar and 6.30 for the move d5 so that just shows that uh the move d5 the move d5 is a blunder because there's a lot of evaluation and the only move is queen e7 so now let's try to explore this game feature the game section so if you click this game it will show you here so let me just see if uh if i am on the way Okay, so let me just move my camera like this. Okay, so so now you can see everything that needs to be seen. So there's there's uh, players here. Of course, they use squids because the name of the program is Chess Squid. And uh, there are names here. For example, if you if you read this, Torrencio is a sailor, and one day he found a message in a bottle. Bottle it was a chess opening ever since he has been obsessed obsessed with playing it out maybe you can help him and then of course the rating it will show here 2100 but the the best 
uh, I think the best player here is this, the Cosmic Kraken, also known as the Cosmic. When this Kraken was tiny, he accidentally swallowed the universe. Ever since, he's the best at everything and mainly chess, the official game of the universe. This will sure be the battle of a lifetime. So this this uh, this description is very good for kids, I think. Also for me, for someone like me, because I like to read something like this. It's very fun. And if you try to play here, you could choose some time control. If you don't want any timer, then you just click none. But I think what's uh, missing here is that uh, you could not set a time. I'm not sure if you cannot really set a time or I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just I just don't know how. But currently, there are no buttons here to set a specific time. For example, I want to play something like uh, 2 minutes plus 1 second increment or 1 minute plus... Uh, zero something like that one plus zero i'm i'm not sure how to do this if you try uh typing a number it, it's not uh doing anything so i think this this needs to be improved and uh here so let's try to play a game and here you could choose a mode so no help no hope we believe in you if you try to choose this legend mode there's no hint if you if you choose this blessed mode uh, you could get a hint any move but here the kraken's help the holy kraken gives you three hints so let's try to play this and uh let's let's get some help from the kraken so start game so once you click this it will start the game okay start game so let's play a move and uh let's just click let's i'm just i, I will just fix my camera over here okay i think uh everything is seen now so as you can see the time is here i have 47 4 to 5 seconds and 59 seconds for the for my opponent so if you click this it will show you some hint so knight f knight c3 hint again knight e2 it says knight e2 so hint again and finally there is no hint anymore you cannot click this anymore because i've chosen the 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 one the version the game mode that only gives three hints so if we just keep on playing here i think this this opponent is really strong the rating is 2700 it's really hard to beat this guy and uh, so okay so there's increment so let's try to let's try to play for draw anyway one of the features that is missing here is that there is no offer draw i'm not seeing any offer draw here i think it, it would be really nice if there's an offer draw here although the engine will not accept of course but uh yeah so let's keep let's just play some moves here although we have some slight uh disadvantage here in this position our rook is currently trapped here so while all of this is happening you could try to uh, let your engine analyze i think okay so we're about to run out of time here let's just play solidly so this engine is really good okay so we are losing checkmate result zero one so while all of this is happening for example you want to play a game you could let your engine analyze this position so uh, i think that's one of the good features of this uh, because in some programs when you try to run your engine to analyze specific position you cannot do that while playing because there's only one chessboard but here you could play and the engine is analyzing some lines here uh, it's like uh two in one also you could solve tactics while uh while letting your engine analyze so that's the game feature here uh but there's something some things that that are missing here for example the the offer draw there is no offer draw also the clock is a little bit small here uh for me i can read it but i think it should be really nice if they make it a little bit bigger also i think the 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 time the clock for example if you click a new game here the timer is not being set 
I think uh, that needs to be improved. You need you. I think you could you should be able to choose a specific time control. Also, it would be really nice if in the near future they could make it online so that uh, you could play against some uh, some other chess squid users. But of course, if you try to do that, uh, they should disable any uh, any tabs. For example, if you want to play online, because if you try to play online here and then there's other tabs here, you could actually try to input your games while while playing against uh, someone online. So for example, if you try to play online, that should not be possible. For example, if you try to play online, you should not be able to click any other tabs here. So, uh, so now let's take a look at this feature called the Trap Finder. So if you click this Trap Finder, it will bring you here. So and, and once again, another tab here. Uh, you don't need to close this or to save it. Uh, it's just here so new document it's, it says here so trap finder so it's the position is already this the one that is he, that is here on the on the chessboard that we analyzed my games my game against im gem of course this game is just imaginary so now if you click this uh global maximum risk to take for for white find trap for black because in this position it's black to move i think so uh let's just move let's just let's just risk re re let's just risk it all let's put 100 here 100 and global minimum loss expected let's put something like 1.0 here and maximum loss 100 of course if it's 100 i think it's very close to checkmate so the stock risk is 14.1 let's run analysis uh, currently, it's finding traps here, uh, and this is the risk, of course. So we could risk it all. The moves could be uh, blunder, and of course, it could lead to checkmate. But if our opponent makes a mistake, then uh, we will win some uh, materials here. For example, here it shows you queen e7 b4. So b4 is a blunder. Of course, it's an obvious blunder. And there are other blunders here after queen after queen e7. So while uh, while the engine is doing this, let's try to solve some tactics here. Uh, so once you click the tactics, it will open a new tab, and automatically there's uh, there's another problem. Plus four if success, if fail minus six. So let's try to get this one right. I think rook d6 is forced because queen h2 is coming here. There is no other checks. So Anyway, G3 is also possible. So this one is a little bit hard. And once again, of course, if it's hard, then it means that uh, it could really help us improve. Because if it's very easy, then uh, it, it's very... I think it will not really help us improve. But here, is it G3 or Rook D6? After Rook D6, King C7 will be played, of course. And after that, I think there is no follow up. G3 is really attractive because uh, it allows us to take it allows us to take here with the queen. Also, if queen c4, rook d6. Hmm. Okay, so let's just play some moves here. Let's try to play g3. Okay, so it's correct. After queen c4, queen d6, king e8. I think there's no checkmate here. So we have to take he this. After king c7, we have to take the queen here, and we have to win this pawn on g7. That that's my uh, take on this. Okay, so it's not wrong. If it's not wrong, then it's correct. So congratulations, you win. Uh, our rating increased by four points. So now let's take uh, let's take a look at the trap finder. So here it's still finding trap. So queen e7, queen g4 is wrong. C4 is wrong. Bishop H6 is wrong, so it will show you a lot of moves that uh, your opponent might might make that is wrong. So it will not show you the correct moves because usually when you run the engine, it will only show you the best moves. But uh, here it will show you the wrong moves. So if you play Queen E7, Queen G4 is wrong. So C4 is wrong. Bishop H6 is wrong. Of course. 
H3 is wrong, A4 is wrong. Knight E2 is a blunder. Also, H4. Knight B3, retreating the knight, it's not so good. So, so this is how this uh, uh, trap finder feature work. And yeah, so I think that's all. So let's just stop this analysis. And uh, actually here, knight takes it is wrong. So that's one of the obvious moves here. So let me just fix this. Yeah, I think you're seeing it anyway. So knight takes c6 is, uh, is wrong. Because of course, there is queen takes e4. And you, you, you're about to win the knight back. And you're just, uh, you're just, uh, how do you call that? You're just uh, a pawn up. So there's a lot of moves that is wrong here, that are wrong here. And uh, I think that's all. That's all the features that I could see here in this, uh, in this app. So uh, one thing that needs to imp to be improved here is this, the main variation pane. I think they should also include some variations here in this uh in this window because here although uh although it's very attractive this moves tree I, re I i really like the concept of this uh sometimes you don't want this because sometimes you want your chessboard to be bigger so for example like this you want your chessboard to be bigger that's why you don't want this moves tree and if the variation is here the variations are here then this one is uh is unnecessary so but now because the variation is here you need you need to take a look at this you need to click this then uh you really need this moves tree so that it would be easier to jump into variations so this is how uh this uh this analysis setup works here also i think uh possible improvement is that uh, I think I should be able to create some color color layout here or theme of the of the program maybe dark mode or light mode currently it is it's in dark mode I think also the uh, how do you call that the chess pieces I should be able to choose some chess chess pieces here also some chess board colors but currently, uh, I think it's very nice. The, the chessboard is really nice. Uh, if I try to work on, on my game, I try to analyze or study some materials here, I would, be, I would be choosing this. So I have no problems about that, but I'm not sure about some other users. Maybe they want a chessboard that is uh, color, uh, maybe color green or some other colors. So here lessons, I think this is really nice. Also the free play. And also this trap finder, this is really nice. Nice, it's still finding traps here, as you can see, still finding traps. Also this, this tactics is the, I think it's one of the best feature of this uh, program because uh, in some other programs, you need to buy additional materials and uh, some other programs are boring because there are tactics, but there, there's no rating. And this rating sometimes motivates us to train more so that uh, we could increase this and uh, of course improve our game so overall I think this program is a really good investment if you have uh, uh, if you have some money to invest in because uh, they will continuously improve this to make it better and better and better of course and yeah although it's a little bit expensive for some but uh, of once I once you have some uh, budget for it, I think it's a good investment. And of course, there's a lot of things that needs to be improved here in this chess program. But uh, I think now, it, even now, uh, I can I can use this, and I it will greatly help me improve my game because uh, that the uh, features here are really complete. So I think it's like all in one. There's tactics, there, there are end game training, middle game training. There's also opening explorer, also some uh, tactics and uh, trap finder, something like that. Like that, I could also load some uh, PGN databases, and I could also practice against a computer. So if I want to improve my game, I I like to I want to train. I could use this Chess Speed uh, Pro now, even though it's still not. 
perfect. Uh, it's far from perfection, of course, but uh, it's very uh, functional and a lot of features that uh, I can use to greatly improve my game. So if you want to buy this product and you want to, uh, of course, you want some discount, uh, you could use my uh, discount coupon on the description down below. And hopefully you enjoyed my uh, review and you learned you learned some things about chess also some things about this chess program and i think that that's it for now so th that's all for today uh, thank you very much pajafers